Live from WHIT's radio studios at High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey, it's the Glute Trotter Show. <laughs> Glute Trotter Show. And your host, Keaton Jack. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Keaton Jack. You're with the Gooch Triders on whitradio.org. Oh, uh, we got, you know, all the guys on the show today. Javier Crespo. What's up? What's Nico, up? Nico hey. Salgado. Money. Katie Mayer. Crystal Scott. Uh, hey. Crystal. I like Crystal better. Okay. I like Crystal better. Daniela Moscoso. Uh, Kevin Penke. Hey. And, of course, we got Max. Max with the facts. But, uh... A local at a local college, we all know Rutgers University in New Brunswick. Uh, a tragedy happened. Uh, one of the students there died at a frat party. So we're gonna turn this story over to Katie so she can give us more information on that. Katie. So uh, early Sunday, 19-year-old Caitlin Kovacs <laughs> passed away at a, after a fraternity party. Um, uh, she was apparently brought to the hospital by friends after they said she appeared in distress. Um, they think that it was alcohol related, but they're not sure yet. So um, it's a real tragedy. It really is, cause uh, I mean, we all know Rutgers is like a huge party school. Yes. I mean, like is. when you think of Rutgers, you think of alcohol, but I mean, to have someone die is like it's ridiculous. Yeah. Do they know how she died? They say that they think it's alcohol related, but they're not sure yet. So they just overdosage, it. nothing, yeah, no murder. Ap- apparently, she was. Um, Short and you know, yeah, if you're didn't have a lot of weight on her, so I think that plays a big factor into it. Um, she probably drank a little more than she could handle. That oh, that's night. ridiculous. So. You go to college to learn, you go there to have fun, but you got to find that balance. Yeah, I like that. That's true. Uh, but another news. Oh, uh, we we've all played, you know, in a little league once or twice. And, you know, we've all grown fond of our coaches. And actually, one Little League coach dies. So we're going to throw that to Nico for more information on that story. Yo, yo, yo. It's, it's Nico. Salg. So, in recent news, current events, there's this Little League coach. His name was Richard Beecher. Richard Beecher. He's 50 years old. 50. He was struck by his son, actually. Ooh. Oh, man. With God. a baseball on the mound. And by accident got- or... It doesn't say. No, it, I'm assuming it was. I don't think his son's just going to That'd be pedal. terrible to, I mean, like, to kill your dad. I don't ball. think it was on purpose. <laughs> Probably was I would hope. I would hope not, but then at the same time, I mean, like, that'd be really sad to know that you caused, like, the death of one of your family members. Yeah. That's going to take a lot of counseling. Especially your dad. And it was a Little League kid. coach. Yeah. How old was That's the kid? Must Dude, that arm. must be uh, the absolute the worst. Was Oh my god. Only 12 years old. And he has to live with that for the rest of his life. And he was only 12 years old when he killed his father. 12 yeah, years old. He must have had a and he's responsible for oh his father's god. death. That's horrible. Yeah, yep. no. That is, I mean, that, that's truly sad. It is. I mean, wh- did he play for his dad's team? Yeah, that's the thing. His oh dad god. was that coaching is just, his team. Dude, that Do you is think there are gonna be, there's going to be like an investigation? Nah, I mean. Uh, I doubt it. I mean, you'll know. Like, witnesses. if there are witnesses, like, yeah. it's either he says, I hit him by accident or I killed him on purpose. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, where was his dad? He was in the. He was on the pitcher's mound, so I'm assuming he was pitching oh to his son. Yeah. D- does it say where um, the ball hit him? Uh, middle of the chest. The middle of the. Oh, God. And he got knocked unconscious, Dang. and he oh went to the God. hospital, and then he was. Did his 12 year old son really bomb it that hard that it, like, killed him? I guess so. I mean, it might be the great Bambino. Who knows? <laughs> the reincarnation. It could be. The reincarnation of the great Bambino. Amazing. Sandlot, Sammy. Oh my god. Shout out to him. Shout out to Sammy. Bambino's actually Babe Ruth, so. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm, saying. I'm, just, I'm just making sure. I just yeah, so we know. know. We know. But they say Sandlot's the great Bambino. I just yeah. want to make sure we don't get caught slacking. <laughs> they said it in the movie. They were yeah. like, you, like, the great Bambino is Babe He was Babe like, Ruth. who's Babe Ruth? And they when, like, he, when he visits him in his room. Yeah, exactly. And he's like, the <laughs> great that's Bambino. Tight. <laughs> I wish Rihanna did that to me. Just visit me in my dreams. The great Rihanna? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like Babe, yeah, <laughs> Babe Ruth came out of nowhere. She's the great baby, no. Uh, the uh, bay. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's let's get back on track. <laughs> yeah, though. Back let's get back on track. All right, are we gonna go to the next story? Actually, story, a story, <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, story. Uh, it's story. actually a pretty tragic show because our next story has to do with the Pennsylvania trooper killing. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, and uh, three yeah. deaths. Like, wow. man. All right, um, it's hardcore up. news. Uh, oh, Still and we're we're, we're gonna throw guy. we're gonna toss that story to Javier Little League. Uh, Great Bambino. Shh, I see what you did. I'm gonna, 
hit it to Javier. Just don't hit him in the middle of the chest and kill him. (laughs) Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm going to let him explain about it. It's a light subject. I don't think we should joke about it. Okay. I I was joking about Sandlot. I I love that movie. Um, Are you talking about the movie? I like that movie. Yeah, I will. I announced that. But, uh, yeah, so what's going down with Pennsylvania Troopers? Javi. Uh, Yeah, no, uh, in Pennsylvania, uh, there's actually a a crisis going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This suspect named Eric Freen. The, suspe- the suspected cop killer has extensive training as a marksman, and police say he's a survivalist who's n- who knows his way around the woods. Wait, wait, did you say Eric? Eric? Frain. Eric you know Frain? I know that guy. Uh, don't. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, that's no. Not, it, yeah, that's not that's, really yeah. jokeable. No, I don't know that guy. Can't joke around about that. Um, he's dead, so, so uh, he's yeah, he's bottom oh. line is that uh, this guy, he's apparently he's been like a loner his whole life, and he's been extremely against government in general. And um, his friends are saying that uh, they know a lot about the fact that he hates the government, but they don't see any reason as to why he'd start attacking cops. But yeah. it's it's pretty much a fact that his goal is to kill cop after cop after cop I mean, after cop. Are they taking precautions with that, like making sure policemen aren't like, you know, as visible as they are on? All they know is that he's somewhere in the woods and he's planning the next killing. So yeah. that's crazy. I, I heard that he covered himself in deer urine so like dogs can sniff him out. Wow. And that he he spoke out a lot against like um, law enforcement cops and how he wants to and he talked a lot about how he wants to commit mass murder so then the schools are shut what does down, he have right? against cops like i don't know yeah so and um apparently he's fascinated by the cold war and um yeah he's a skilled marksman so Ooh. he's you know he yeah. knows what he's doing it's with like another it's uh, dangerous marksman yeah i read They're really dangerous i read yeah. something about how his dad was saying like his dad was a marine and he was like he never misses a shot Wow. Well, that's not so. good. So, obviously, f- Pennsylvania is having a crisis right now. Um, police still don't know exactly what they're going to do. But bottom line is that they're going to try to corner him, and they have 400 police getting ready to raid oh the God. forest wow. with that riot can, gear. That can either go really well or, or really, really bad. bad yeah. it's, like, yeah. There's like no way it's going to end well. Like, yeah, someone's going to die. Some, definitely someone's someone's going to get shot. So. Yeah. You guys right. ever seen that movie? It's Sandlot? amazing how many uh, shootings yeah. happen nowadays uh, and how many deaths there are. Just like people are dropping Cops like flies. Are just it's like ridiculous. Being targeted out of nowhere. ISIS. Crazy. I'm terrified. But in lighter news, lighter and, and more, you know, not comical, but amusing. Uh, those celebrity photos. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my yeah. god, yo, Hope Solo? Rihanna. Bro. It's that just, that I mean, changed my life for the it's worst. It's just like it's really making me question. That was like, just really bad in every way. Your privacy. I hate hope. So. I mean, yeah, and someone now someone can hack into iCloud and just automatically find celebrity photos. Yeah, and, and so now like, you can who's... store your credit card on what's it called Apple um Apple Balance or something. Like you can have your credit card on the cloud. Uh, that's not good. Who would do that? Though? That doesn't sound people. That's a, but I mean like. Who would have thought that like iCloud would get hacked? Yeah. You'd be the person to get exposed. Was I'm it sure iCloud? I don't think it was yeah, iCloud it was. that got hacked. Who they said? No, it's well, iCloud. Even though Kim Kardashian movie. took a picture of Black. She probably sent it to yeah. someone with an iPhone. Yeah. That's true. Money. That's true. Uh, just if Kanye doesn't have an iPhone, that's a big problem. Word. Kim Kardashian played it safe. Already exposed herself. That's 2004. true. But she already looks good, so. Yeah. She gets a free pass. It's not like we haven't seen yeah, it. It's, it's like good thing though. Good like. thing they're not exposing actors who are under the age of eighteen. Yes. Which but happened, I mean, right? if you're under the age of eighteen and you're taking nudes, like you should question your life. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't there a risky. Wasn't there somebody that was? Yeah, like, it was a gymnast, right? Or like, and she was in a yeah the Olympics. She took him when she was young, though. Yeah. Maroney, Michaela Maroney. Something yeah, like so you and, know, and that that dude, um, like there was some dude from a pop band. That's apparently 18 on the dot, but they don't know if he oh, took those pictures when he was, like, 17. Yeah. Or Kiki Palmer's on the list. Oh, God. Kiki, <laughs> Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Can't I love Kiki Palmer. Palmer. I would hate to see that happen to her. 
But uh, Kong yeah, so worst. you know, keep She's an eye just out on the your worst. keep an eye out on your Twitter feed. I hate if, everything about if it. If you really She's... love the actor, you know, Akilah and the bees was horrendous. They're banning accounts or posting just a bad movie. the nude photos. Kiki Palmer's already out of here. She's no, she's give her some she ruins me. <laughs> Corbin Blue, jump <laughs> in, jump in. And why why have didn't to... Corbin Blue stick around like Kiki Palmer? I would have much rather had Corbin Blue around. Talking about jump in, we're gonna have to jump out of the studio. It's it's been a wonderful show here on the. Harlem Gooch Riders with WHIT Radio. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. We out.